Right then guys and uh, girls, um, basically um, if you've watched my other video you'll have already seen this um, little module I got um, and I just thought I would show you it running so just very very simple setup got my small chicken stick, I say it's small it's still a, a good, well I don't know and a half long but um, I just want to point out a couple of things there is a I'll do a zoom in on it because yeah, on my tripod I'm just going to give you a little, little look round so you can see what's going on right there is a little spark gap now when I pull the arc too long that spark gap will fire but that is what it's designed for um, basically we just got relay, relay over that side but I've just wired it so that it's on all the time I'm pretty certain that must be a multiplier in there um, so again if any of you guys do get one of these or play with them be warned that they could still be charging it um, even when it's not running so I wouldn't suggest playing with these at home. I don't know the uh, ins and outs, the power of this thing. There you go, someone pretty work it out. It's not 30 volt, it's 30 VA. Um, but even if it's not deadly, to be honest, it's going to give you one hell of a shock. I wouldn't want to get it. I've had shocks in the past, and I certainly wouldn't want to be getting a shock off that. So I'll zoom down. So hopefully you can just sort of see the arc without getting it too out of focus. And the problem is it's not a bad video camera. Uh, no doubt the um, sound of the arc is gonna gonna dull the sound down anyway because it is bloody loud. Um, so I'm gonna switch the variac on. So we're live. Just got to hit the foot switch and away we go. There's about, I'd say, a two centimetre gap there. That's maybe a bit um, ambitious. About a two centimetre gap. And you'll notice that time, when I pull it just a little bit further, this thing here, ah, you can't see that, it's not on screen, but that little Siemens thing, spark gap fired. So I'll just give it another quick run for you so you can hear it. You might get to see a bit of arc, I don't know. I can tell you it's bloody loud though. Like, you'd probably be able to hear it better if I just do a short blast because otherwise my camera picks up and it does the auto sound thing. So. So what I should do now is make safe, turn off the switch, so I can now hit my, my power thingy. No, sorry, my foot switch and nothing happens. I'm going to disconnect it from the, main, from the uh, tripod, from the mains. And I'm going to put that there, so you can see it without it being on zoom and hopefully you'll be able to actually see hopefully it won't blow my camera up through here now and hopefully you'll actually be able to see it from a better angle I suppose really what I should do is put that there So yeah, there we go guys, that's a bit of a uh, bit of power in there, and uh, we'll see what happens, I don't know what we'll be able to use it for, but thanks for watching, and uh, we'll speak again soon.